Thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. Here are your top headlines. Three Boise Fire Department dive team members and their boat have been safely rescued from the Boise River. The team planned for today to include a special training exercise on the river. But when the boat carrying the dive team lost power, the team found itself trapped below the Broadway Bridge in need of a rescue. Unfortunately, today we had a mechanical issue with the boat that they were in. The boat became inoperable and the firefighters took the appropriate countermeasures or emergency operation measures to basically get to safety. That safety was here on the, the bridge, as you saw earlier, or it was to shore uh, side. Boise had to work with the Army Corps of Engineers to get the water levels lowered so officials could collect the boat. All dive team members were rescued. It turns out the biggest marijuana bust in Idaho State Police history was actually hemp. ISP sent 31 different samples of the substance to a lab in Kentucky where they proved scientifically it was hemp. Ada County moved to seal the results back in March, but the Ninth Circuit recently denied the motion and released the lab report late last week. The level of THC is what the federal government uses to distinguish between hemp and marijuana. A product has 0.3% or less Delta 9 THC on a dry weight basis, it's hemp under the federal definition. The samples that ISP took and sent off to the lab in Kentucky, out of those 31 samples, not one registered above the 0.3 level. Hemp may be legal federally, but it is still illegal in Idaho. Big Sky Scientific, which was the company that owns the hemp, is suing Ada County and the Idaho State Police over the shipment. They must reply to the Ninth Circuit by May 8th. Council arguments are expected in the fall. A former Napa teacher is arrested and charged with inappropriately touching a child. 70-year-old Keith O'Dell Peterson faces one count of lewd conduct with a child under 16 and one count of sexual battery of a child. Police say they are concerned there may be more victims. If you have any information about this case, you're urged to call Napa PD. Police also are arresting a Boise man on a charge of lewd conduct with a child under 16. 43-year-old Edwin Prawl is a registered sex offender with two offenses requiring registration from 92 to 98. BPD's Special Victims Unit acted on a tip to investigate Prawl and police say evidence shows the alleged conduct took place over a period of time last summer. If you have any additional information, please ask you to call Crime Stoppers at 208-343-COPS. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Here's your early evening update on Tuesday. We're seeing temperatures on the cool side and a good breeze blowing as well. 56 in Boise, 63 in Ontario, and one more night right here. Frost is likely one more night, and then most temperatures will shoot well up. So if you've got been taking precautions because of the frost, you've got to do it one more night here. Here's the Wednesday forecast, and the difference with tomorrow is while it will be chilly in the morning like it was today, we won't have the wind around. It will stay calm in the morning and just, I mean, less than an eight mile an hour wind through most of the day. We may only hit 62, but with the sunshine, it will feel beautiful outside. A delightful day coming up. Extended forecast 61 tomorrow, 66 on Thursday, 7 72 on Friday, and this is some real nice weather here. And then over the weekend, uh, the low temperatures coming up as well on the high temperature 77. And there it is on Sunday, topping 81. That will accelerate the snow melt again coming on in. We'll see increased flows of water heading into uh, the reservoirs. But right now, things are going OK because we haven't had that much moisture and staying warm on Monday and Tuesday of next week. The pollen count is still on the high side. The temperatures are warming. This is your update for the evening. I'll have more updates coming up later on.